We're back with episode 17 of Play the Kids. Let's check out the highlights from Bath real quick. Williams has his shot deflected. It falls right to Ireland at the back post. He slots in his first goal of the match, giving us a 1-0 advantage. Let's speed up the match play here. They get the little cross in to Leverock, and it's equalized at one apiece in the 25th minute. In the second half, 66th minute, it's Ireland tapping it ahead to Mudge, who squares it into Williams at the spot, and he put gives us a 2-1 to one advantage. Free kick over the top. Leverock beats Allard, who was playing due to... Uh, Hemmings needed some rest time. Ireland puts in the set piece from outside the box. That's his hat trick. And it's three. Actually, that was his second. My bad. Uh, spoiler alert. <laughs> Ireland draws across and full, just drifts it in past the keeper. I'm not sure why, how or why that one went in. But uh, probably poor play by the keeper. But that was the hat trick for Ireland. Mudge would get one in the 90th minute. And that would make it Tiverton 5, Bath 2. Ireland finishes on the hat trick. Mudge and Williams both get goals. So that happened in the Bath game. Let's drift back just a little bit. So we had a 1-1 draw with Truro. Uh, Graham Williams made his return from his injury here, scoring on a penalty. And in Bromley, notice a name in there, Ethan Bryant. We saw him make his debut against Barnett. Uh, he scored a six-minute brace, and his second goal here, he flat-out poached a goal from someone else. In fact, let's show that to you. So Mudge on the outside into White. White crosses it into Mudge, taps it to Cook. Cook took a shot, and I think it was going in, but Bryant just stuck a foot out and got it on the ball. <laughs> and redirected it into the goal. Uh, yeah, he was feeling it that day. Just a little cheeky move to uh, steal a goal from Cookie. And uh, he got his second, cost Cook a goal. And if we take a look at the squad right now, Graham Williams, 35 goals. Tim Cook, 22 and 19. 20 and 36 for Mudge. Hemmings, nine off the back line. Ireland, seven from the wing. Uh, Ireland and Nuevo both with nine assists. Cook and Mudge with 15 assists apiece. Just some stellar numbers. Uh, there you see Christian Simmons, who's out on loan, 13 assists for his club. And Ethan Bryan already uh, moving up the scoring sheet here only after a couple of games. So we have lost a couple of players. <clears throat> We've talked about it a little bit in recent episodes. Zahir Daher. Uh, went off to Rockdale, Rochdale, and Peter Davies, unfortunately, has gone off to Bolton's U18. I, you know, I, this was going to be a good player for us. I think he would have been a really good player to develop. He had the pace, finishing, just no room for him right now. But he had come off the bench for us a couple of times, or one time, uh, but he was playing regularly, 20 goals. Four assists and 15 starts for the for our youth squad, but he goes off to Bolton. And let's see, I want to say, okay, so Bolton's in League Two. I was thinking maybe they were Premier League, but they're they're just up in League Two, and we're losing these guys on freeze. So what I'm gonna do, I think, and what I started doing with Bryant is. If we take a look at his contract, so he gets $210 per appearance fee, assist, assist bonus. He does get an unused sub, but only $40. So if we play four matches a month, that's $160. Bucks. If he's getting $1,100 like Davies got, there's no, no excuse why he wouldn't go. But I'm I'm frustrated because I can't I can't get these guys to take contracts at all except for the part time uh, or the non contracts. I can't get them to take a part time contract. So I don't know what the deal is there, um, and I'm I'm really concerned now because we have lost two of our better players. 
from our development squad. Uh, you know what, Fletcher, we're going to go ahead and move him to the uh, senior squad too and try to get all those guys up. Well, we played Geisley in four days. We said we wanted to play extra time. They refused, so no extra time in that cup match. I'm coming back a little bit early. We are having the quarterfinal draw today. Uh, the, we had the... <laughs> The match was delayed due to a waterlogged pitch, not at Ladies Mead, but at their field, uh, at Geisley's field, so or pitch. So uh, let's see. Yep, kind of glad to be out of that one with Aldershot. Mm, that one would be good. Nope. And Bellaricki. Now, Bellaricki got promoted last season. How are they doing? They're 10th, so they're mid-table in the National League. So that's uh, that would be a rough one. They were our nemesis last season. So that would probably be as far as we might make it. We've offered a new contract to uh, Williams, our striker, just to try to you know, he's he's starting to garner some interest. We've gotten, I think, three offers for him in the last couple of weeks. And we're just trying to stave off that interest. Luckily, he is actually on a contract making real money. All right, we're going to go with Humphreys in the goal, a back four of Hugel, Hemmings, Tierney, is Cuerto. You know, you know who these guys are. Ireland is back uh, from his uh, several suspensions on video, uh, but he did have a hat trick uh, recently on his return. Uh, you'll see the youngster Bryant in midfield and White out on the right wing. Cook back into the number 10 to keep uh, Mudge Williams up top and have our three leading goal scorers all on the field at the same time. Cook's disappointed, unhappy about playing out of position. Well, if you want to play, and you got those two guys in front of you, that's hands on hip, no, hands in pocket. There we go. All right, a little bit of motivation. We will give the early spot of encouragement. They're playing in a 4-4-2. Come on, fellas. Uh, I am going to, I'm going to drop the tempo. So my understanding on tempo is, if you see your club making a lot of mistakes, wayward passing, anything like that, drop the tempo. They'll still be attacking or positive or whatever. Um, I'm going to take off a run at defense as well and hope that just gives us a little bit more ball control. Let's encourage again. Come on, fellas. Uh, and the first highlight is going to Geisley. We've got the wall, and he sends it over the wall, but over the bar as well. And it will be a scoreless first half. Seven shots. We do not get a single shot on target. All right. Well, let's see what happens here. Let's demand more this time. We do have some guys struggling, a 6-2, a six, you know, dropping to a 6-1. All right, let's sub him off. He he has good games, but then, you know, let's bring on Bliss Cotterell. We haven't seen him in a while. See if he can make a difference for us. All right, Mudge, we've got a highlight here. Hemmings to Bryant, a little bit of triangle action. Oh, uh, look at the through ball down to the touchline, and the header from Williams goes over the bar. Oh, that was a brilliant pass by the youngster, Bryant. Hemmings is down. All right, let's see. Don't want to make any other changes. Let's bring off Ireland, maybe. Tell you what, let's move. Let's move Cook up for Williams. Let's take Williams off. We'll put, let's put Bryant up there. And then we'll put Bliss on in the central mid. Now we are pulling off our leading goal scorer here. But, oh, look at Bryant with the attacking header there. 
Hugel's over there, crosses it back in. We're getting several opportunities here. Another header, and it goes over the bar again. All right, that should be the subage. Over the top, Holland. Good save, and then cleared away by Tierney. Oh, thank goodness. Thank goodness. All right. Hopefully we can snag the ball here. It's to Bliss Cotterell. He rounds his man, Gilchrist. He's into the box area. Cookie's there. He's taken down, and it's going to be a penalty. Cookie goes up, ass over tea kettle, and it's Cook lining up to take the penalty. No, uh, he slots this one home. I was nervous because he missed that last one. His 23rd of the season. This was a late goal. Let's drop back to balanced. Play for set pieces. Slow the pace down. And Hemmings is tired, but he's playing a 7 1. Uh, is Quieto. Let's bring on Lewis Taylor for him. He's playing a 6-1. Let's see if we can solidify that flank. Solid penalty, not the greatest. And that will be full time. We sneak out with one. Only one shot on target for the whole game. We do have 11 shots, so we'll, we'll take that. It is a good win. And that will put us up against Bellaricki in the quarterfinals as we stay alive. In this competition, the English FA Trophy. All right, so a fifth round, we get $11,560. And sure, let's play extra time if they want to. Let's find out when that match is going to be. All right, so we will play extra time. And that will be at the end of February. So let's go ahead and come back for Farnborough. And Bellaricki next uh, episode. Just taking a look back with the matches that we have played. We had the 1 1 draw, Bromley 6 3 win. I showed, you know, you saw all these scores, but I just kind of wanted to refresh your memory. Uh, so 28 games. We still have two games in hand. We're, we're 15 points clear of Borumwood. So that is still looking good. And we can only make it better with, with, you know, six points potentially in the balance. We could get up to 78 and be 21 points clear. That would be huge. Uh, I, I, uh, we're still sitting really good for the automatic promotion. Uh, but we will have a couple of other matches to check out and see how we're doing. Guys, hit the like button. Subscribe for daily football manager content. Thanks so much for hanging out, and we'll see you next episode. Take care. Bye.